As you probably know, I own Sonora Cinematic, which is a sampling company. And if you had a look at our latest releases, you will have noticed that XY pads are getting featured more and more. The reason is very simply that I use XY pads a lot myself for my sound design. I love the expressive power and control that comes with them. Recently I've been noticing that many people don't actually know how to build a very basic, simple XY pad to be used on their iPad or iPhones or any other sort of touch device that you might have lying around. So today we're going to build a very basic XY pad that you can add to your own templates and use in your own production using touch OSC. Let's get started. Okay, first of all, you need an iPad. I'm using a very nice iPad Pro 2020, but up until very recently, I was using a very, very old iPad Air. Uh, you can use your iPhone. Yes, I am a little bit of an Apple uh, fanboy, but I'm not proud of it. <laughs> there are lots of Android options. Uh, I believe that Touch OSC is available on uh, the Google Play Store. So really the sky is the limit. Do check for compatibility, of course. Then things that you need to download. You need to go on hexler.net. You need to get uh, touch OSC. We are using the Mark II now, which is the new version, which is much more powerful. I strongly recommend it, but there is also on Mark I. Uh, you need to get it on the App Store if you want to use it on the iPad. Uh, you need to download it on the desktop if you want to use the editor. And you also need Touch OSC Bridge, which is another app that runs on your computer and lets you link the two things together. Then I would recommend using a contact library that you can test this with. Uh, I have a couple of Sonora Cinematic libraries over here. I got uh, Atlas Flutes, one of the textures, uh, Quiet Morning, but I also have Aria Libra, which we are going to uh, test. I actually have it set up on the same MIDI channel, so I'm controlling both at the same time. Let's try it out. So I'm going to build exactly that. Aria Libera is completely free if you own a full version of Contact 6.7.1, whereas Atlas Flutes is available on our web store, sonorasinematic.com. If you don't want to use a Sonora Cinematic library, uh, there are lots of options out there. Thrill and Mysteria come to mind. They're both from Native Instruments. Then let's open our Touch OSC uh, editor. Uh, over here are a couple of things that you need to make sure uh, setup wise before you get started. First of all, you need to make sure that Touch OSC bridge, which we just downloaded and uh, presumably installed, needs to be running. And then you need to go on this uh, link button over here and you need to work out your connection. So now we are specifically working with MIDI. So you need to make sure that this connection number one is active and send port is set to bridge uh, number one and that is done the ipad app looks absolutely identical so you just need to go over here click on the link and you need to make sure that midi is sending to port bridge one as well there is more you can link the editor uh, on the desktop and the ipad app by clicking on this wi-fi symbol over here we are sending up the uh, editor network as the server so you need to make sure that this is enabled and then you go on the same menu on the iPad app over here. If you're on client here, you will find as available server, your computer, you click on connect and you're ready to go. So now whatever we are doing on the editor on the desktop is being mirrored by the iPad. Now here's our uh, blank uh, editor, uh, but we are in luck because if you go on help examples, there is actually a multi XY pad that we can use as uh, a template to uh, build our own. The template has actually more stuff than we actually need. So let's click on this square and let's get rid of a few things. Actually, let's double click on it and then select this item. And you see that under messages, there's actually five different messages that this is uh, sending. So you actually only want to keep the first two messages. You don't need this second one. You don't need any OSC. You are actually only sending MIDI and you don't need any local message, okay? And now you need to assign uh, the channel and the uh, MIDI CC value uh, that you want. So here you actually have two options. So I like 
to default my MIDI CCs for X and Y to 14 and 15. And the reason is that we do our libraries for NKS, which is the uh, native instrument standard. And the first two knobs on the S49 controller are 14 and 15. But obviously these are completely relearnable. You can click on learn and we are learning X as 14 and we can click the Y as 15. So my these two CC are 14 and 15, but you obviously can assign it to whatever you like. So let's go back to our editor over here. And so now you need to make sure that the channel is set to one for both and you want the controller to be 14 for the X and 15 for the Y. And the scale is set to 0 to 127, which is good. So now you can click on play, which is simulating uh, whatever it's happening. Let me move this to my second screen for a second. Let's go to contact. And now I should be able to move this around. And it works already, but you'll notice that it's actually inverted. So the X and Y, the X is actually working fine, but the Y isn't. When I go from down to up, it's actually going the other way around. So let's go back to our editor for one second. And we need to invert those. So we need to go to the Y, which is channel 14 over here. And we invert the scale from 127 to 0. Now I can click on play again. Let's go back to Cubase. And now it's working all right. So now I can play and even record if I want to. I can perform it in real time and now if I go on this region you'll see that he already actually recorded CC 14 and 15 and I can actually go in there and edit it if I want a different kind of curve or whatever. Let's just close with a tiny bit of troubleshooting in case this wasn't working and Cubase is not uh, getting the MIDI messages that Touch OSC is sending. You need to make sure that you go on Studio, Studio Setup, and you need to make sure that MIDI Port Setup um, has Touch OSC Bridge as uh, active and visible. I really hope this was useful. Please feel free to check out Aria Libera and Atlas Flutes at sonorocinematic.com if you're interested. And please subscribe to the channel and one of those is always appreciated if you want to support the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.